So this isn't perfect, but it's a little quicker than it was. Whoa! Welcome back, travelers and Slider Havoc here, and we are back playing some more Eco. And we've done a little bit, not a lot since last episode, a little bit. I've kind of redecorated this little uh, shed over here, and uh, we are going to be working on this today. And put a couple windows in to make it look a little prettier, and then I've slowly started building the attachment over here. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it yet. And this is not going to be its final shape. It was just kind of laying groundwork down. But there's a couple things I want to do today. And I think we can get them all done in a reasonable amount of time. First thing is I want to put up a store. Because the guys are hopping on the server. And they need food. And if I'm not here, at least I could have some for sale. Right? So in here, I have a little bit of food going. I've got a couple charred meats. And a couple wheat porridges. And then um, I need to cook up some raw meat, actually. And maybe some corn, just to give them an option. Uh, cheap stuff versus good stuff. Um, go ahead and just cook all that up for right now. And we'll go and cook up all the corn that I can. Because I want I want plenty of food to be able to put in the store for them. Because that's, I got two tables I want to do today and one very useful item that will come in handy. Maybe not just this moment, but eventually. So the first thing I want to do, oh, you know what? I need to eat. That was the whole reason I remember the food. I need to eat myself. So we're going to go ahead and try to balance this out here. I don't know which one's going to make me go up and which one. Okay, that made me go down. That made me go back up. All right, so I'm up to 117 skill points now. And maybe a little bit of wheat. Nope, that took off. Okay. I haven't quite figured out this balance thing yet. But it's okay. I lost like 0.9, actually. Um, but we're okay. I'm, I'm pretty full up. My fat is getting pretty far down. Maybe maybe that'll help. That'll help a little bit. Tallow is just pure fat. And so that, uh, that helps me get the fat number up. But I mean, all in all, my numbers are getting better. Um, I'm up to like 21, 20, and 16 on the vitamins, which I can get some from huckleberries. Are those huckleberries or are those huckleberry seeds? Those are huckleberry seeds. Okay. Well, I'm going to drop off these seeds because I kind of want to empty out my inventory for today. So, I'll drop off the seeds here and some seeds there. Nope. That just exchanged them. There we go. And do I have this guy? I do have this guy in here. Plant fibers and a little bit of wheat. I can just put it right here for right now. All right, so today we are going to be making two new tables and one hopefully useful item. We'll see. One of the tables is for the item and the other one is the uh, store itself. And I'm kind of interested on the mechanics of the store. I haven't really, like, yeah, I obviously haven't played with it. I haven't gotten that far, but the, the, the concept is there. So I think I put enough stuff in here. I did. I got enough stone and wood. So we're going to go ahead and start up the store. That's going to take five minutes. And then the other one I want to build is called a Wainwright table. And the reason I want the Wainwright table is because it's supposed to give me the ability to build a cart. Okay, and that's 10 minutes there. So basically, after about 10 minutes, I will have the Wainwright table <coughs> and the store. So we'll probably be back in like about five minutes. But actually, I'm going to kind of show you what the plan is here before we cut away. So over here, I've slowly started um, terraforming to start having a path come down into this area down here. The thing being able to get around down here, especially with all those trees and stuff, would be really useful in the way of getting wood and stuff back up to the town. Because as you can see, I don't have any more trees. Now there are some growing, like I got one little guy right here, and I got one little guy over here. So they are starting to sprout back up, but for the time being, I'm always constantly going and jumping and trying to carry 10 pieces of wood at a time. That's where the cart's gonna come into play because if I can take a cart down there and just chop down a couple trees and throw it all in here, I'll be able to move that wood so much easier. That'll be a beautiful, beautiful thing. 
So actually, while my time is going, I think I'm going to go ahead and continue to terraform a little bit. And we will be back uh, once the two tables are done. Okay, so my warning light just went off and told me that my uh, tables are done. And so I'm just going to finish up with this last scoop of dirt and we're going to go check on our new tables. So as you can see, basically we're going to have a ramp running down here, some flat room here and another ramp going to a ramp and then some more flat down here and we're going to continue out this way. And I should be able to cut right through these two and that'll lead me to here and we can just continue this path all the way down. It's going to take a little bit. It's going to take some work, but I mean, it only took me 10 minutes to carve all this out. So it's not horrible. Of course, I used half my calories doing it, but you know, whatever. So we are going to go grab our Wainwright table, which is right here. And we're going to go grab our store. As a matter of fact, I think I need this wood. I think that's going to be, oh, that's maxing me out there. Um, well, I can always run two laps. It's not a big deal. And let me grab my store. What am I doing? <laughs> right here. There we go. Grab the store. And let's go put these in place up top. I'm really liking the paths. I'm liking this whole, like, you know, being able to just build our city up. I'm, I'm excited. I'm truly, truly excited. This is so much fun. And uh, we're going to get our store going right now. I, know, I don't know when everybody else is going to be hopping on, but there we go. I can just put it right in front of the window right there. And the guys can just... Wait, did I do that backwards? I did that backwards. Where's my hammer? Six. I just felt like it didn't look right. All right, yeah, it's because cash, cash register should face towards me, right? That makes sense, yes. Technically, the cash register should face towards me. Okay, and then there's a little scale. And then I believe if we hit on it like this, we go to the store, and then I can sell certain items. So, things I want to buy and sell. Uh, let's go ahead and grab... Well, you know what? Let me put the Wainwright table down so I can empty because I'm maxed out on my inventory. The Wainwright table... It's eventually going to go in that next room over there. So for the time being, I think I'm just going to go ahead... What the? Fricky frack. Okay, well, we'll try right here. There we go. Okay, that was kind of weird. Um, let's go ahead and pick this up and put it in a better place now. So, I'm thinking right here. Just like that. Right there? Right there. There we go. The door kind of conflicts with it. You know, no, I gotta move one more time. This is just gonna bother me. It's going to bother me if I don't have this sitting in a pretty place. So, seven. All right, we're gonna put you right here. It's like right up next to the chest, not a big deal. That I can handle. And then the Wainwright table is where we're able, ooh, I can start doing some stone roads. Ooh, a powered cart, interesting. A wooden cart, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. All right, so. We're going to go ahead and put this in there. And I'm going to go grab the rest of that wood. As a matter of fact, now that my inventory is up to let me grab all this food. So I've got the burgers and the porridge and some tallow. And I'll leave the wheat for right now. Just a starter store. And I can put... So the charred meat... For sale. Oh. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Um, charred meat. There we go. And that's going to be worth, we'll say five. And then I'm thinking one charred meat should be worth like 10 pieces of wood. Does that seem like a lot? If I make one piece of wood, one. 
and a charred meat. Yeah, because you're getting a lot more out of it. It takes a lot to get this. So we're going to make that 10 points. And we're going to go ahead and put that in the stock. And then I'm going to buy um, wood. Oh, logs. That's what they're called. Logs. All right. And that's going to be worth one. Well, we'll make them worth two. Five logs for one charred meat. I think that's fair. So if they give me five logs, they'll get 10 and they'll be able to buy that. That I think works. Now this wheat porridge, I think that's going to be a little bit more because it's, I don't know, it's a little bit more useful. We're going to make that one 15. Like I said, uh, two logs. So that'd be like worth seven and a half logs. I think that's pretty fair. <coughs> And then the tallow, tallow's gonna be really cheap. Tallow, one tallow per wood, maybe. I get one per meat. I'm thinking two wood for tallow, okay? That sounds good. I have no lungs in it, right? Um, tall boots. Tallow, rendering animal fat, yes. It's a lot of fat. All right, so two logs for that. And then I also want stone. Stone's going to be worth a little bit more. So we'll make stone worth like five. I think that's pretty fair. Like that. And so, yeah, so two stone will get you a burger. I think that's pretty fair. I don't know what else people will have right now. Um, ingredients could be some, but I think we'll just leave it like that for right now. Wooden stone, that's all I'm really looking for. Um, now that I know I can do stone instead of dirt roads, I'm gonna go ahead and stay away from the dirt. And yeah. So let's run down and get the rest of our boards and we can go ahead and start making our cart and we'll see how useful we can make it. Let's see if I can actually get it down to the forest and actually make it useful to get like a whole bunch of wood up here at once. So let's grab the rest of these boards. There we go. Oh, nope. In the backpack. And I'm gonna close that door while I'm gone. And we will get our cart going. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have a cart, like mobility. I think I still run around with it. I don't believe it's like, I think because I saw like a mechanical one. And so I don't think it's drivable. I think we just tow it, but that excites me though. All right, crafting. Yeah, because there was powered cart. That's crazy. I want a powered cart. But uh, a combustion engine. I don't think we're anywhere near a combustion engine. So we've got five minutes. We'll come back in five minutes and we'll test that out and we'll see how our road is doing. All right, so I just got word. My thing is done. My cart is done. Wow, look at all these elk. I, oh, I don't have any arrows on me. Look, that's like a heyday right there. Look at all the elk and bison and everything. But at least I've got my path down here pretty clear. And so I can kind of get a road out of these trees. But I now know that I can do stone. I thought I finished you. This little tree which was really, really fun. This is one of the ones that uh, started growing again. <laughs> it just kind of... I don't know what to do with it. I'd beat it up until it goes away. It says I'm supposed to break it into smaller pieces, apparently. I don't know. We'll just leave it there. Oh, wow. I actually got wood out of that. Got a log out of that. That's funny. All right. Well, before I spend too many of my calories beating up on that little piece of wood, we're going to go check out our little cart and go mine up some stone so we can start doing these paths. And I think that'll look really nice and really clean. I'm hoping so. It looks like it will. And I've yet to actually finish putting the floor, but now that I can do a stone, I think I'm going to end up removing all the dirt out of here and putting in a stone floor. So we'll see how that goes. Um, what did that say? Hey, come here. You had a little message there. 
Unspecified reasons. Notification. Unspecified reasons. Okay. Oh, it's full and I was trying to put something in. That's what it was. Okay. I'll put you over here instead. No. Oh, get in there. There we go. So we're going to grab our little cart here. I am so excited about this. So excited about this. And we're going to go plop it down on the path and see how well this thing works. All right. Number nine. Let's plop you down. All right. Do I just hit E? To, oh, yeah. Do you just follow me? Oh, you do. Oh, that's cool. And it still controls based upon the way that you're, like, pointing and stuff. Um... It's just like stuck. You're stuck. Why are you stuck? Okay, let's go fast. Why are you getting stuck right there? There's something weird going on right here. Something weird going on. Now, I did read that the carts are a little bit glitchy. So it could have something to do with the path or something like that. I don't know. But we're going to figure it out. Whoosh. Whoosh. Okay, there's the storage. Get to that. Cool. Come on. Come on. I don't know what's going on here. I feel like I'm moving backwards. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna figure out what's going on. Oh, 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 it's moving. It's moving. Okay. So, let's get like a running start, maybe? I don't know. I just want to get some stone. I want to test this out. Fill this thing up with stone. Okay, that's just glitchy. I'm going to play with it for a second, and we will be back. Okay, so weird thing. I took this piece of road out here, and all of a sudden, it moved. Okay, so that, that one piece of road was just a little bit weird. Not a problem. We can fix that. But I want to take this little cart kind of, like, you know, close to where I have stone at. Just to keep the distance shorter. And I'm going to fill this bad boy up with stone, and then we're going to take it back up to our table. And there's trees and there's a hole. So this isn't perfect. But it's a little quicker than it was. Whoa! Well, that was interesting. I fell through the map. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our pick out here. And let's just pick all this And then I can just run back and forth with a shovel. And then I should be able to make these stone rows. And things will be B E A U T full. Okay. So let's see. Pick you up. I mean, it's still a little bit of a walk because my path doesn't quite get to the cart. But it's still a lot closer and a lot faster than what I have been doing by running, grabbing stone, putting it in the house. And not to mention, I want this up at my uh, rest or my yeah my restaurant, and so I think this will be helpful to get this up there, and hopefully I can put that road back in and it won't be all funny again. That was kind of weird that it was just getting stuck on that thing, but as soon as I moved the road, it moved. So cool. interesting way to control it just it, whatever you're pressing that's like what it does so the cart itself is actually what you're technically steering and you're just up here independently kind of looking around and stuff all right i want to see if i can put this path back in real quick that was really weird let me see uh no go and 
and let's see if it still gets stuck. Oh, so slow up the hill. Yeah, it's getting stuck again. There's something really weird going on there. And put it all in there. And then we have stone ramps and stone roads. Let's go ahead and do 11 stone roads. And when we come back, guys, you will see all the beautiful roads put into place. And we will be just working our way. And uh, probably doing a little bit on the skill tree next time. I'm seeing I got 13 skill points, so next time we should probably have a little bit more. So we'll see how that goes. Civil engineering, road construction, asphalt. Ooh, that is intriguing. So until next time, guys, y'all know the deal. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more stuff like this, please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed it, just in general, whether you're a new, you know, a returner or a new subscriber, please hit that like button. And if you want to, you know, join on the same map that I'm on, not, not with us, but the same map I'm using, I have it down in the description as well as a link to the game itself. And that about sums it up. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comments. And any way to make me better at this game, I would really appreciate leaving it down in the comments. But until next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.